Hey, this is B from Kong to Press, and today we're going to do an in-depth tutorial on how to set up Step Mania 5.0. Alright, for those that don't know, Step Mania is an open source freeware DDR simulator that can play not only DDR but tons of other rhythm-based games as well. Uh, there are different themes. In the Groove is kind of the latest community-based version of it, but we're going to set up Step Mania because it's what I remember and you can make it look like classic DDR. So first place you're going to go to is stepmania.com. You can see the news here. There hasn't been a ton of updates. The last beta was released in 2018, the last stable build in 2016, but Step Mania has been around since the early 2000s. So thank you to the developers that made this accessible to everybody. So you're going to go to the download section, click on the Windows download. We're going to be installing this on a PC and download that to your desktop. Next up, this installer is going to show up here on your desktop. When you double click it, it's going to install all the files you need to get Step Mania working. The default location is your C drive games folder. You can set this up in any folder that you want to, but we're going to go ahead and use that default setting for games in Step Mania 5. Once you get everything installed in there, you'll be able to pretty much launch the game and play using your keyboard, the stock three games on there. But we also want to add new songs from the different DDR games that we've seen in the past, as well as a theme to make a look nostalgic for the DDR that we remember. Um, so first off, I want to go into the folder structure. You can see what it looks like. So here in Step Mania 5 under your C drive under games, you'll see the folders that are listed here. The key ones you're going to want to know is under the program section. This is the actual uh, stepmania.exe to launch the game. So what you may want to do is set up a shortcut and this is the shortcut you can put on your desktop to get to it in the future. The next thing you want to know is the songs folder and the themes folder. So songs are where we're going to add games and themes are where we're going to add the theme. So in just a few minutes, we've already downloaded and installed Step Mania 5 onto your PC and you can use your keyboard to navigate and you can pretty much play games at this point. This is a stock default theme for Step Mania. There's three default games that are listed on here. There's songs that you can play and you would just go into the menu and you have these three songs going under Mecha Tribe Assault and Springtime. But we don't want to play just these games. We want to add previous DDR games on here. Personally, my favorite DDR series of all time is Six Smiths, DDR Max. So we're going to download some DDR Max songs and get in here. So here's the next website I recommend checking out. It's ZeniusIVanisher.com. It is the number one ad-free music gaming news site for all rhythm-based games, but there are tons of different what's called sim files for DDR games that you can download and play pretty much any of the songs that you remember back in the day. A huge shout out to GeoShawn, Frequency Style Arcades that turned me on to all these resources. But let's go over where to get them. You're gonna go to the game section, DDR and DS, and go down to sim files. And here you can go to the search engine and you you can search for any game or song that you remember. So I particularly love the song Candy from DDR, uh, you know, Max. And so you can see Candy Heart here. You can download the original game, click on that zip file, and you can download the individual game to be able to add. But that takes a long time to do them one by one. So what we want to try to do is go back to the main view sim file section, and then you'll see under this section here a drop down of all the various different arcades and platforms that DDR existed. So for arcade for example we can scroll all the way down there's second third fourth minutes extreme all the latest ac 20s of uh, all the different ddrs but here's the one that i want ddr dance revolution 6 mix otherwise known as ddr max you can see the logo there that i absolutely remember playing all the songs that are listed here healing vision candy star a uh, true trance sunrise mix some of my favorites as well as freckles uh, these are some of the songs i remember playing the most back in 2001 and uh, here it is. So we're going to go to the top, click on download pack, and it's gonna download onto your PC. Now notice that it says pack 40, 220. So all of these come up with these weird pack names here. So for here, you just may want to put DDR max SIM files just so that you can remember exactly what you're downloading if you're gonna do multiple packs. All right, we've downloaded the DDR Max SIM files. And if you open up that zip file here, you can see all the individual songs have their own folder listed here, as well as a JPEG image to be able to have the thumbnail of that theme. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to our Step Mania folder into that songs folder. And here we're gonna right click go to new, new folder, and we're gonna simply just type in DDR max. And so whatever subfolder that you wanna have for the games that you have, this is what you're gonna create under the songs folder. And from here, we're gonna go back to our zip files that we had earlier. We're just gonna highlight everything. And then we're just gonna simply drag those files into the DDR max subfolder. So this is all it takes 
to add songs. You can download every single song pack from DDR, Fifth Mix, Third Mix, Extreme, Max, A2. Um, I even looked up random packs that exist elsewhere on other sites, an anime mega pack because I wanted to play some songs that my kids really love, like Sword Out Online and Sailor Moon. So they have all sorts of songs you can look up and it's simple as dragging it into the songs folder under your subfolder. Okay, here we are back in Step Mania 5. So we go back to Game Start, Single Player and Normal. And boom, 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 boom. Here we are, DDR Max, Bye Bye Balloon, Candy Unlimited. Oh my goodness, these are all my favorite songs that I remember playing. So I'm gonna rinse and repeat, do this for all the different DDR mix songs. But one last thing, this theme for Step Mania doesn't quite seem nostalgic enough for me. I wanna go back and find a theme that looks like a DDR that I remember. So let's go ahead and install a custom theme. Okay, the next site you're gonna wanna visit is Jose Varela's Step Mania Themes Archive website. So this has all the different themes here from the very versions of Step Mania that have existed throughout the years and so this is a great resource I just discovered it but if you go down to Step Mania 5 these are the themes specifically that work with Step Mania 5 and you can see they have skins from the original DDRs that came out back in the day second mix third mix fifth mix uh, and they don't have DDR Max on here it's not quite out there there was another place that had a DDR Max theme but for the sake of this video let's download the DDR Max 2 theme here um, so just if you click on any of these you can kind of see what it looks like like this, I remember very nostalgic, it looks very familiar to me. So the seventh mix one doesn't have any thumbnail images, but we're gonna go ahead and download the HD version of this and then show you where to download this and put this onto your pack. All right, we downloaded the seventh mix DDR Max 2 onto our desktop. If you open up the zip file, you're gonna see a folder here that says Dance Dance Revolution seventh mix. It may say some, something else, but it'll have all these additional files in here that you need to skin Step Mania to look like that particular game itself. So we're gonna go into the themes folder under your Step Mania build and simply just copy this file and unzip it directly into the theme section once this is done it's a couple thousand files we're going to go back to the game set the theme and then finally lastly we'll set our controls okay here we are we're going to head over to the option section next we're going to go over to the display options then under to appearance options and right here under theme, you'll see it's under default. If you've moved it to the left or right, you'll start seeing something called home. And there is Dance Dance Revolution 7th Mix HDDR Max 2. Go ahead and click on that hit exit and it's boom. It's going to restart. And then magically, you might hear something that you recognize when you play DDR games. <laughs> there it is, the Konami logo. That sound is so synonymous with DDR in my opinion. Like I just wanna hear that sound whenever I turn on a DDR game. And there it is, Max 2 with the flame and the theme there, looking so nice and clean. I absolutely remember playing a lot of DDR Max 2, um, but I was always looking for the Max 1 songs on there. I love the Max 1 version of Candy on there. And so that's what we're looking for. We're gonna go down to the single mode there. You can see the light standard heavy nomenclature there for your games as well as i love when you scroll through the different versions of the games i just love the little difficulty grid changing from the different games on there so this is what we love to see now last thing you want to do is set up a controller to use so by default you can use your keyboard to navigate using your up down left arrow keys and you can play the game exactly that way um, or if you wanted to you can set up a controller like an xbox controller or anything else and you can set your buttons to play like ddr using your thumbs you can could set up an actual dance pad if you wanted to if you wanted to go that route but i'm a little bit older and so i want to play with my hands at this point in time but there's one last option i want to show you i want to give a huge shout out to giovanni sean from frequency style arcade i ordered this custom control panel that is built like an arcade we're using arcade style buttons and it emulates a ddr pad so really nice large square buttons that light up when you press it you have your select and your back buttons for player one and player two it kind of fits into a nice three-quarter scale arcade if you follow that community uh, but this also has kind of rubber feet on the bottom too so i can just play on my desktop or i can play it anywhere else if i want to install this somewhere so this is a really fun way to play in my opinion so check out frequency style arcades to see if you want to get your own controller like this he also does pump it up and other styles as well and this is branded as a ddr max theme Okay, so when you first plug in a controller that you wanna use, it's not gonna register in game, unfortunately. So what you have to go is use your keyboard to navigate to the option section. Then we're gonna scroll down to config key and joy mappings. And it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go down for your player one side and your player two side. You're going to scroll all the way down to the left, right, up, down section. Hit the enter key and hit the left button 
hit the right button, up and down. So you would do that for any joysticks that you're doing too. If you're using a control pad, you would do the secondary one for your left and your right thumbs for the buttons as well. Uh, and then we're gonna go up here and do select um, as this key here and then back as this key here. So that way we can make sure that we're selecting things as well. Um, and that's it, that's how we're gonna set up. We can also do the player two side. If we go over here, we can do left, right, up, down, as well as back and start. So that's what we're gonna do for right now. Hit the back button, it's gonna save the game and now let's finally play a game ha 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 so now i can navigate the menu using this controller we're going to go to the single mode here uh, i'm gonna head all over to the heavy oh non-stop challenge no i can't do that we're going to go to heavy mode over here uh, and then we're going to play it we're going to play my favorite song of all time it's candy from ddr6 mix or ddr max uh, so if you press the start button you press the start button again it's actually going to load up the uh, extra options menu so you can go a little bit faster if you want to so these are all the options you can do just like a typical ddr game and we can get in here and play so i'm super excited to finally be able to play ddr in my home in something that kind of remotes like it looks exactly like i remember with the theme and everything too i'm playing with my hands here and i can get in here so let's do it i should pay attention more was terrible i can't believe i missed so many so i might want to be able to double check uh my lag input set latency for the screen and the controller so that could be something that i double check but hopefully you guys like this video this was a quick setup on how to play step mania set up add some new songs put a custom theme on there put a different controller on here and you can be playing ddr just like you remember back in the day if you like this video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and we'll see you next time keep on dancing